pivoting uh, to the question and answer session. And so the first one is for Dr. Das, and I just I'm going to read it verbatim. It's just um, I, a member of the audience has written in. I was told that it isn't ethical for advanced stage patients to get placebo. In what cases are these advanced stage patients considered for placebo? And in the case where placebo is the better option for an advanced stage patient, are these patients remaining on a current therapy or are they possibly receiving no therapy at all? So getting to the question of placebo uh, control trials. Yeah, um, I think it's a great question. I think there's been a lot of um, editorials and controversies um, that have come up, uh, you know, kind of regarding this and whether crossover is allowed and um, these phase three randomized trials. Um, so, you know, uh, I would, I think the broad answer to this is that um, we really don't want to get into a situation where we're not offering the patient standard of care. And I think part of it depends on where you are in the world and what is considered standard of care, um, where this uh, trial is being conducted. Um, but I do think that, you know, now for most patients with advanced metastatic disease who do not have a targetable mutation, the standard of care is considered to be chemotherapy plus immunotherapy. Um, and so that should be the, this, you know, sort of the non-experimental arm. Um, and, and I think, it, again, it depends on the setting. Um, so if you're thinking about um, uh, perioperative treatment now, um, so we have a number of FDA approved options and um, in the perioperative space. So I think it just depends on the, the setting, metastatic versus early stage, what, are, what is the sort of current standard of care? And we do have to offer that to patients. Um, and I do think there's been controversy about the, you know, kind of the allowance of crossover. Um, so for patients who are randomized to placebo, are they able to go on to get the experimental treatment? And I think it differs according to the, the, the trial. And again, kind of depends on where the trial is being conducted. And that add something because I think this is a um, very important question. Um, and as a practicing clinical trialist, I do clinical trials for a living. This is a very common question we get from the patients. Um, and I think the reason why this question is being raised is when we say the word placebo, in majority of our trials, especially in advanced disease, uh, first or second line, or even a third line, patients are not just getting placebo. Like for example, um, Dr. Das, when she was discussing new adjuvant trial, even though there was a placebo, but it was placebo with chemotherapy. So the randomization is, chemo plus, plus uh, um, immunotherapy, and a second line will just get, get the chemo. And the question is, is immunotherapy adding something to that or not? If you have a first line uh, stage four trial, the randomization could be platinum doublet, which is an effective therapy versus plus placebo versus platinum doublet plus immunotherapy. Um, in the United States, um, I have not seen a pure placebo trials for a decade. And I think in my opinion, it would be reasonable to run a placebo trial, maybe fourth line of therapy, this prescribed crossover design, uh, because I think that's very, very important.